angry bear was angry. He had told his brothers and sisters to wake him up, but they had not. And so by the time he woke up, it was almost night time. The salmon were almost finished their run, and the other bears' bellies were already full. Angry Bear rambled and scrambled his way down to the rocks, down to the stream, pushing all the other bears out of the way. Out of the way! He greedily, headfirst, dove into the stream, eating fish after fish after fish. When the others would look at him, Angry Bear would just roar and scare them away. And this made him happy, because now he could eat all that he wanted to. All through the night and the next day, Angry Bear ate. When another bear came down to the stream, Angry Bear just roared again. And when he ate his fill, he just kept right on eating. When he was finished eating all of the salmon, Angry Bear was happy. But he still didn't like all of the noise. And so he drank the river too. And he ate the forest. And pretty soon, it was very, very quiet. Angry Bear settled down for a nice nap and quickly fell asleep. And Angry Bear dreamt. He dreamt that he was a salmon, struggling, fighting to swim upstream, knowing that perhaps he might make it upstream, but perhaps not. But still he struggled. He struggled and struggled and struggled and finally, 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 finally made it upstream. He woke up and thought about his dream. And he noticed how quiet it was. It made him a little bit sad because it meant that there would be no more salmon and no more bears and no more forest. Angry Bear tried to vomit all that he had eaten, but something told him that that would not work, that it would be too violent for the fish to survive. So instead, Angry Bear fell over. He fell asleep and became the mountains. His head and belly became the great peaks, and from his stomach, the trees and fish and other animals came forward once again. After some time, Angry Bear woke up once more and crawled out from inside of himself. But this time, he decided to become a salmon because he wanted to experience the fullness of being alive. And as he swam downstream fighting against the current, he was finally happy.